Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to show how to create a Windows machine using GCP. Okay. So first, what you need to do is uh, go through, uh, go to a particular project wherein you want to create uh, your uh, Windows machine. In my case, I'm just selecting Kubernetes, and then uh, go to uh, Compute Engine. So then click on uh, VM Instances, and after doing that, so you'll be redirected to this page. And now what you need to do is uh, click on create instance. There uh, again, you'll be able to see this particular uh, page here. You need to give the name. Okay. So I'll just give as my windows. Okay. And then select, let's keep it like that only default only. If you want to change anything like uh, if you want two CPUs here, the memory should be more, then you can go ahead and you can uh, select whichever you need it. So in my case, I, as it is a demo, I'm just keeping the default one. And then here, the boot disk, click on change. And here you need to select uh, something called as Windows Server. And here, whichever server you need, you can select it. In my case, I'll select uh, Windows Server 2012. Our R2 data center, okay, and uh, 50 GB, and let it, let it be our default, okay. So click on select, and if you want to keep it public, uh, everything for public, then click on allow full access to all cloud APIs, okay, and allow HTTPS traffic, HTTPS traffic, click on create, okay. Now it will take a couple of uh, seconds uh, to load my machine for the GCP. So until then, I'll just pause the video. Once it is, once it is, yeah, it, I guess uh, it's come up. Okay. Now, so once uh, this is done, so if you want to log in, so what you need to do is first, what uh, uh, you need to do is you need to set the password. Okay. So the password is basically uh, you need to click uh, the set Windows password. So when you do this one, it will ask you the username. So let, let me keep the username as Dikshit sent to itself. Click on set. It will take a couple of seconds. Okay, so it will prompt you uh, the password. So this one, you just keep it somewhere. So let me take um, any one of the editor. So let me take this one itself. Okay. And then uh, we need to, uh, because uh, that password is like when we, when we want to log in, so we need that particular password. So let me copy it there. Okay, now just click on close. Now if you want to log in, so in your machine, you should have uh, something called as a remote or desktop connection. So when you click on this one, so it will prompt you to enter your IP address. So my IP address in this case, 3466188. Uh, triple one. Okay, so when I give this one, click on connect. So it will take a couple of seconds again to uh, connect with my particular machine. Yes, uh, now it has been connected. It is prompting to um, enter username and password. The username is Dikshit. Send to, and the password is this particular random value you can once you are logged in so you'll be obviously uh, you'll be able to change the password also right so you can go ahead and you can now uh, do that so just click on s so it 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 takes a couple of seconds to configure our remote session so now as you can see so we have logged into our remote machine it is preparing for us So yeah, our Windows uh, machine is ready for us. Okay, so this is how uh, you, you need to create um, Windows Server uh, in GCP. So that's all for video. Uh, so if you have liked the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.